Hey guys, Allison here. I want to talk to you today about something that I think is a really important topic, and it's this, balancing your life. We all have to have a healthy balance of work, of prayer, of leisure, of friendships, of our intimate relationships. We really need to balance it. And I have seen over the years, a lot of people are not real balanced, and it becomes a real problem. Right, so if you are passionate, maybe you're in a ministry or apostolate, God bless you. Or maybe you have you own a business, you have a, a high-powered career, maybe you love golf, maybe you have you know a certain hobby, then tennis, whatever it is. They're good things, but they can become problems if we don't have balance in our life because things are gonna get very distorted. We need social time, we need prayer time, we need quiet time. We need relationship time, right? We, you know, if you have children, we need time with our children. That's really going to be important, not only for you, but for them. Life is happening right now, not at some distant point in the future. And too many people that I see are, okay, I'll do that someday, someday, someday. But this is too important right now. And what I've seen, particularly for ministry leaders that maybe don't have maybe an intimate relationship, they may not have a family, they may not have anything else that they really devote their time to, and it becomes all-consuming and the total focus, and it can get really out of balance. All right, Our self-worth should come from a balance of things in our lives, not just one particular thing that we're doing. If it's imbalanced, where the my the think about you know maybe that stereotypical housewife who has no other interests except you know like like Edith Bunker, right? We say all right, there's something really wrong with that. Like all right, that we should have other interests, hobbies, friendships, you know, whatever it is, you know. So we, take a look at that in your life. If you find that you kind of like cranky a lot of the time, could be that your life is out of balance, and you need to get it into balance. Now this is an area where a Catholic life coach can be super, super helpful. Because, you know, we, we may say we want a certain type of life, but we're not really leading that life, and we don't really know how to get there, all right? And we always default to what's familiar for us, or what is the most pressing. So if you run a business, and I run three businesses, so I know it can get out of balance if I'm not careful about it, right? If you find that, okay, I feel like I'm always working or I feel like I'm always cranky, then take a look at that. Sit down with a coach and map out like what your vision of the perfect life would be. Now, of course, there's no perfect life here on earth, but what would be your optimal life here? How would you like your time divided? And that's, I think, something that we don't realize. You know, when you watch Shark Tank, you look at like the Elon Musks of the world or whatever, we're all equal and then we each have 24 hours a day and seven days in the week. And it's how we use that time that makes all the difference in the world in our lives. And it doesn't have to be material success. It could be whatever your definition of success is. And I would caution you, if you're going to define success, look at your state in life and what does God say about what real success is in life. All right, so sometimes you may be putting so much effort in one area and letting another area really suffer. And we get cranky or the people around us get cranky and resentful. So this is an area I think that would help almost all of us to sit down with a coach and say, well, what kind of life do I want to lead? What do I think God is calling me to? What is consistent with my state in life? That's a really, really good question to always ask yourself because that's always going to be a good guide for you. So that's it. Balance your life, balance your time, just like we need to balance our budget, right? We need to kind of have a sense of balance. And you're going to find that you can experience a lot more happiness. You're going to be much more effective in whatever it is you're doing, whether it's your ministry, whether it's your business, whether it's your relationships, whether it's with your children. When you have a healthy balance, now of course I know things happen in a day and sometimes things are going to get out of balance once in a while, but we want it to be once in a while and not all the time. So I hope you find that helpful. Reach out to a Catholic Life Coach. We have amazing people listed there. And this, I think, is really cutting edge in terms of being able to really move forward and to be that light in the world, all right? Because cranky people don't attract a lot of people, right?
So we want to be those happy Christians that attract others who want to know what our secret is. And I think Catholic life coaching, huge. It's going to be so helpful. So reach out to a Catholic life coach. Subscribe, you know, hit the subscribe button and please like and share the video. I really appreciate that. God bless you.